Amadil Kumar and here is a thinking and communication question for you from test paper on linear systems. Supplementary angles are angles that have a sum of 180 degrees. If one of the supplementary angle is 32 more than the other, calculate their possible measurements. So you can again pause the video and answer, right? Here is my suggestion. Fortunately, we are given what is supplementary angle. But you should know, supplementary angles are angles that have sum of 180 degrees. That means kind of a straight line, right? So what we are saying here is that one of the angles is 32 more than the other, right? So that is a straight line, which is combination of two angles, whose sum is 180 degrees, right? So let us call these angles as a and B, right? So that is how I'm defining my variables. So A is the angle which has more value than B, right? So A and B are supplementary angles. So what we are given here is that sum of these two angles, that means angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Now it says if one of the supplementary angle is 32. That means the measurement of one angle is 32 degrees more than the other, right? So let us, we have drawn A as a bigger one. So we can say angle A is equals to angle B plus 32 degrees. So that makes the second equation, right? So we have two equations here, one and two. Now it is easy to find the values of both the variables a and b, right? Let us substitute equation 2 in 1. So what we'll do here, that we'll sub 2 in 1. So if I do that, that means a equals to angle b plus 32, what do I get? I get angle b plus 32 degrees plus angle b equals to 180 degrees, right? So I've substituted this value of A, which is angle B plus 32, here in the first equation, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm substituting this here. So I get angle B plus 32 plus angle B equals to 180 degrees. This equation will help us to solve for B, right? So we get 2B, 2 times angle B is equals to 180 degrees, take away 32. Is it okay? So that is how we can rearrange our equation and solve, right? So let me solve this equation on the right side. So what we have here is 180 degrees minus 32 is how much? From 10, if you take away 2, you get 8. From 7, if you take away 3, you get 4. 148 degrees, right? So what we have is that twice angle B is equals to 148 degrees and therefore angle B should be equals to 148 degrees divided by 2 and that gives us 74. So 74 degrees is angle B. How much is angle A? Angle A is equals to angle B plus 32. So it is 74 degrees plus 32 degrees and that is 4 plus 2 is 6, 7 plus 3 is 10, 106 degrees, right? So we have our answer, and the answer is angle A equals to 106 degrees, and angle B equals to 74 degrees, right? So that is how we can solve this question. I hope that's absolutely clear. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about similar questions. Thank you, and all the best.